karibu sana kwa Football Fans Clan. Channel ya pekee hapa Kenya ambayo inaangazia tu hisia mbwembo na maoni ya mashabiki wa soka kila baada ya mechi kubwa. Wapo wenye mgeni basi na kuomba usubscribe, ku like na kushare video. Shukran sana kwa kutazama. Lucky Arsenal. Or, or what can we say? Arsenal what okay. I I watched the game uh, from my point of view Arsenal were just not good today. But they managed to get a one point. Two to against What can you say? So do you want to tell me Chelsea was good? This might not have been good, but Arsenal were not also good. So uh, I'm, uh, I'm asking you about Arsenal. You know, we can't talk about Chelsea being good or Arsenal being bad when they had a two-goal lead. Any good side cannot drop two goals, cannot just uh, drop two goals, cannot just drop a two-goal lead to a 2-2. Two -two. What made the difference in this game is that the, both the two keepers uh, just decided to share the blame today. They decided to share the blame today. Raya made a mistake. Uh, Madrid scored, and uh, Sanchez also made a mistake, and Riz Aray scored. Uh, that is a draw. That's good for us. But uh, generally today, we Arsenal did not start very well, and I think uh, luck was not also was not also on our side in the first half. Given that uh, uh, a dubious penalty, if I have to call it, a dubious penalty, if I have to call it, uh, was given, I didn't expect that because. Uh, you would expect, like, uh, when you're taking a flight up, which is the natural position of the hand, the natural position of the hand, almost it will be somewhere in the air. So you can't expect, like, uh, that one can be given as a penalty. Given that the hand never moved towards the ball. It's the ball, whoever was heading the ball did head the ball towards the hand. So that was somehow dubious. Chelsea were lucky to get away with that. It was a 50-50 decision, and uh, they got away with, with it. Uh, again, uh, I think uh, Arsenal, we started, uh, they, they did start uh, very slow. They started the game somehow slow. And Chelsea came in very motivated. They wanted to prove a point. And uh, you look at them, they were creating a scenarios where they allow our defense, that is the Saliba and, uh, and, uh, and, 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 and Mangales, to, to, to pass around. The moment they, now they wanted to get the third or the fourth pass, they were looking at it, who was this person who was going to receive this ball. And uh, they would pounce on that ball, suffocate the ball at that very moment and try and start attacking from that very point. That was good for Chelsea. You look at it, they tried, uh, they did outwit Arsenal, especially in the midfield. Uh, the midfield of uh, Caicedo, the midfield of uh, Enzo and uh, Gallagher. I think uh, that was okay. And they still had an extra man in Palma who was dropping deep in to collect the balls and try and run away with the balls. I think uh, that was okay. Uh, and why? why? Why did that happen? We had a mall in Arsenal, if I have to call it. We had a mall in Arsenal. I don't know. I don't have to call it that way. Uh, in Jorginho. Because I don't know what Jorginho was doing. I don't know. I don't know. Our defense was very much exposed. Our defense was very, very much exposed. I, would, uh, I don't know why. I don't know why Arteta has to play Jorginho when we have put a feet on the bench. Because uh, you look at it, Arsenal, uh, both uh, Odegaard and uh, Rice have to drop deep to collect the ball because uh, the ball cannot be supplied straight from the defense to the attack. You look at it, then you find like Eugene was uh, a total mess. Okay, he tried in the second half, but in the first half he was just a total mess. We were less. That's why I'm calling him a mall. We were less. Arsenal was less. Otherwise, if Eugene would have stepped up in the first half, I think we would have, Arsenal would have given a better account of itself uh, in that half. Uh, again, looking at it, conceding a goal, I think that was a, a around before, uh, uh, was it a 16th or around, around that time, that minute? That was too early. And uh, the team just literally went down. We had Sterling, who is used to scoring against Arsenal, but uh, he tried it today, though he gave uh, the, the ball that... Uh, uh, the ball that uh, did come to, uh, the, the ball that uh, was a penalty, I think is the one who floated it in. But I think uh, we had some also shaky defending from uh, Zichenko. He was not 100%. He was not 100%. And the coming in of Tomiyasu did really help us not. Did really work for us. I think uh, Atlanta needs to do something because uh, we just didn't play well today. We just didn't play well today. And a week at Chelsea, I think they were just lucky. They were lucky. Okay.
as you say, Chelsea were lucky. Uh, uh, just in a few words, what can you say about your attack line uh, that started the match that is uh, Saka, Gabriel, and uh, Martinelli? They, they just did click. What was wrong? Was it Chelsea that was organized and very prepared for them, or they just didn't play the match? No, just to give it to Kukurela, I think uh, he did some good job keeping off Saka and ensuring that Saka did not click, did not even play in the first half, trying to, uh, trying to pounce on him here and there, and just keeping him off the ball, off the ball. Any given time he can't make a run, if he tries making a run, he is either unbalancing or getting him off the ball and ensuring like he doesn't get those passes. But what happened in the second half? We knew he will switch off. The moment he did switch off, what happened? Saka got it, he did what he does best. Brought in the assist, we scored the second goal. And I think um, one thing also you have to look at it, like um, we have this guy in Trossard. Trossard is a secret weapon for Arsenal. Because uh, the way Trossard plays, anytime he comes in, you will not hear of him so much. But when you hear of him, I think hey, it's a goal. Something should have happened. Yeah. Again, I think, uh, I think uh, the substitutions that Chelsea did, I think they did help Arsenal in some way. Because I think uh, Palmer was uh, a thorn to Arsenal. Sterling was also a thorn. Not so good, but he was also, he was also a thorn. He kept, us, he kept our defense uh, uh, on toes. And uh, I think his outgoing gave Ben White a chance to start moving upwards and Tomiyasu inverting. So we had numbers. We had to recreate the numbers against Chelsea. Uh, that's why we got a second goal. Yes. Yeah.